Turning to our California wildfire coverage now, and we've seen the devastation caused by the LNU Lightning Complex fire. Homes, neighborhoods destroyed, lifelong memories turned into piles of ash. But from the smoke and the fire, there has been even more damage. Grapes from vineyards in various parts of Sonoma County now tainted with the unpleasant smoky aromas and flavors. And our news partners with the San Francisco Chronicle, Esther Mobley, has been following this part of the story, and Esther joins us now. So I know that Esther you've been talking with winemakers in Sonoma. What does this mean for the next harvest? So one thing that's really unique about the, the, the fires we're seeing now as compared with the fires that have come to wine country in previous years is that the fires are happening right at the beginning of harvest. If you remember the fires that happened in Sonoma County last year and then the big ones in 2017, those were all in October, even stretching into November. Most of the grapes were already picked by then. But right now is when harvest season would really be gearing up. So all essentially all of the grapes in uh, California's wine country are hanging out there still vulnerable. And we know that um, when wine grapes are exposed for an excessive amount of time to thick wildfire smoke, they can actually become imbued with this phenomenon we refer to as smoke taint, where some of these smoky compounds actually make their way into the grapes and then will infect any resulting wine with this really unpleasantly smoky flavor and aroma. Um, there's certainly such a thing as a pleasantly smoky wine. You may have had some of those in your time, but we're talking here wines that really like taste like an ashtray. Yeah, pleasantly smoky we like, ashtrays we don't so much. So Esther, this is not the first time small wineries have decided not to make this year's harvest because of wildfire smoke, is that correct? Well, certainly, and I, I should note, it's really important to know, it's still really early to know what's going to happen with the crop overall. I spoke with one winemaker this week, Noah Dorrance of Reeve Wines in Healdsburg. He was still in the process of deciding whether to harvest most of the grapes he uses in Sonoma County. He was leaning toward not. He hadn't made a final decision. And certainly there's going to be plenty of parts of wine country, including areas of Sonoma County, I think especially stuff that's closer to the coast, that's going to be safe. I mean, those areas right now are not totally inundated with wildfire smoke. 